You know, it's interesting. Alan obviously is a Hall of Fame CEO, but a lot of Hall of Fame CEOs have a tough time letting go. And I think one of the, the great aspects of, of, of this transition is that Alan uh, is not having those issues. Uh, in fact, you know, he and I identified Mark as the the next guy, and, and we felt really good about it. And Alan is, uh, is, has been wonderful in the, in the handover. He'll be great in the next two months while he's still CEO, and then, and then it'll, it'll end. And so you rarely see that with uh, really prominent, uh, high-profile CEOs. Most of them, uh, when it really comes right down to the wire, can't let go, and Alan is. Let me ask about, you know, I think I heard Alan this morning at the press conference talking about when he first met you and how quickly he got to know you. But I know the two of you spent a heck of a lot of time together, uh, both before and after he came in to the company and, and kind of came into the Ford family. Have you been spending a lot more time with Mark lately? I mean, I know he's been running kind of day-to-day -day operations for well over a year now. Yeah, I mean, I've known Mark for, you know, 20 years, and, and so, um, and I really like Mark, and I admire him, and, you know, I actually am the one who put him into the job in North America, so I have a really good relationship with Mark, but that relationship now will change, uh, because it'll, it's, it, it'll be at a different level, um, and sort of, it'll be, you know, in some ways, I hope very much like my relationship with Alan, which was very informal, very frequent, um, and, uh, you know, Alan and I always thought on the same wavelength, and it was really fun. We could kind of finish each other's sentences. And he became a really good friend in the process, and I look forward to doing that with Mark. Bill, uh, Christina here in New York. Just a quick question. Was there ever anyone else in the running for the spot? <laughs> Uh, hi, Christina. Yeah, there's always, there are always other people in the running. I mean, one of the things that, you know, that I feel we have to do as a company is to always look not just within Ford, but also around the globe and say, where is the best talent? And then, importantly, how would they fit here? Uh, and so we did. We looked around the world. We looked at executives both inside our industry and outside our industry. But Alan and I kept coming back to the fact that we thought Mark was the best candidate. And, um, and so... And, and that's why I feel so really good about this, uh, this transition. We really did our due diligence. Um, but the more we did, the better we felt about Mark. Was there a defining moment? Was there a time where you knew, okay, this is our guy? Because there's so many uh, stories about how well he did at Mazda. Obviously, he did a great job at the Americas. There's the famous story of him finally catching on to Alan's uh, uh, strategy and the corporate culture in the uh, business planning review. Was there a moment for you where you said, okay, it's Mark? No, there was never really an aha moment. It was really more of, a, of an evolution. I mean, Alan and I talked about it all the time. Um, in fact, we actually started talking about it on the very first day I met Alan uh, eight years ago at my house, where we talked about having a, you know, a great transition, but also having a really good management development process. So um, there really wasn't an aha moment. But you know, for me, the job Mark did in North America uh, really was very defining because um, that was a huge job. And, you know, remember, that started before Alan even got here. Uh, Mark came up with the Way Forward plan. He, uh, uh, you know, he took, it was a tough job, and he took some real slings and arrows, both internally and externally, early on. But to his great credit, he grew, he persevered, and I think by the end, well, I know by the end, had gained the admiration and the respect of the men and women of Ford around the world. So, um, you know, that to me was a very telling thing. Also, a lot of people back then, if you can remember, thought Mark would leave. They thought that he wouldn't stick it out because it was, it was a very tough job. But they underestimated how much he loves this company, how much he really loves this industry, and also how tough he is. Bill, this has been telegraphed for some time, but I still have to ask the question about why now? 2014, you guys have said it's going to be a tough year. Why not wait until 2015, make it a little, a little easier on the new, on the new leader? Because I think Alan and I both thought Mark was ready, um, and you know, and once we both reached that conclusion, there's sort of no point in artificially dragging it out. Um, and so, um, and this is a transition year. We've got you know unprecedented launch uh, activity taking place. We've never had this amount, uh, but it's still going to be a good year for us. Um, and uh, you know, our company's trajectory is a really good one, and one that we feel very good about. And so. Once we concluded that Mark really was the person, then we went to the board and said, this is our recommendation, we'd like to do this. Uh, and obviously then they, 
they went along with it. What will we see uh, Mark do differently? You know, I try and think, I know that these two guys spend a lot of time together. I know Mark, uh, a lot of people say he's one of Bill's uh, acoly acolytes, um, but they are different people, right? I mean, Alan loves the Ford Flex, and Mark loves to drive the Taurus <laughs> Special High Output. So, um, kind of different car choices. What are they going to be different? How are they going to be different as CEOs? Well, Mark probably won't be hugging people as much as Alan does. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that'd be. Po I'm not sure that'd be possible. Uh, but, um, no, you know, it's interesting. Uh, one of the things I think we do so well as a company, uh, and really started this under Alan, is deal with reality, whatever that reality is. And Mark will wake up to a different reality uh, the day he takes the job than the reality of the day before when Alan was in the job. And he's going to have to react and make sure our company can react with transparency and deal with reality. And so he will have a completely different set of challenges than Alan faced, uh, some of which we will know now, many of which we, we can't even begin to anticipate now. But I believe that uh, he'll do it with the same level of transparency and the same level of teamwork that Alan attacked the job. What's He's the biggest challenge day one? Well, I think the biggest challenge day one for, for Mark is to um, resist the temptation that uh, people are going to be saying to him, so what are you going to do differently and how are you going to leave your mark? I think Mark's very comfortable with this plan, he, and he ought to be. I mean, Mark was the ar architect along with Alan of our plan. So, uh, but, you know, to answer your question, Christina, on day one, we could have some exogenous event that we can't anticipate that all of a sudden falls right in his lap and he's going to have to deal with. But that's why I feel so good about the culture and the process that we have in place, because it will enable him and the team to deal with it. But I don't anticipate him making any fundamental changes. Bill, what's Alan's role going to be now going forward? He's obviously he's not going to be CEO or on the board, but he still owns uh, about six million and change shares of Ford. So he's obviously going to still be close to the company. Well, yeah, and he'll still be a great friend of mine. I mean, you, you, you know, one of the things that I look forward to is hanging out with Alan um, when this is all over and also picking his brain from time to time. I mean, you know, Alan and I have really developed a great relationship uh, both on the field and in the locker room. And so, uh, you know, I, one of the things I think is going to be really fun is to, is to keep up with Alan and also just to get his advice uh, on things going forward. And I know he'll be happy to give it.